Hey there, I'm so excited that you're tuned in. If this is your first time checking in with me, I am Tanya Wilson, Master Life and Business Coach, also known as The Growth Strategist. Today, I want to talk about abundance, which is something that I talk about quite often, but I want to put a spin on it today. I want to go into this abundant thought that I have for you today. So there are some things that simply cannot and will not come to you unless you see that you are worthy of having them. So often, I would say overlooked, but actually we're not taught. Uh, let's go back to the fact that we aren't even taught that our energy is absolutely everything. And there is an energy that exists that aligns on the frequency of abundance. So I posted a small clip of a video I did some years ago uh, recently, and the video was titled, You Have to Acquire a Taste for Abundance. Listen, and this is so true because so often we live our life based on what we know and the more abundant thing that we desire is often the thing that we don't know yet. So life is mirroring to us right now in this season at this moment, what we feel we are worthy of. It does it all the time. Life mirrors to us what we feel we are worthy of all the time. Now, this is not limited to just your personal life, like your relationships or opportunities, things of that nature. This also rolls over to your business. So I shared on one of my platforms recently that a huge mistake business owners and brands make is assuming what a person can or cannot afford. How many times have you thought that in your mind when you go to post about a, a product, an offer, a coaching program, something that you are putting out to, into the world? How many times have you thought about whether or not the people that are you, you are posting to can or cannot afford the product or service that you're offering, right? And so I shared on the platform that, you know, a huge mistake business owners and brands often make is assuming what a person can or cannot afford. And oftentimes this assumption is generated from the mindset of the business or the brand owner. This is why I am an advocate for the work I teach as it relates to abundance mindset that I do with my my clients, my ambitious, um, high earning clients even. I am always advocating that we work on mindset in addition to the strategies that I give them for their business because the mindset is, is running everything, right? So Here's what I mean. For instance, a brand owner may not resonate with a certain price for their products and services, right? What I mean by they may not resonate is, let's say, for instance, there's a $5,000 offer and a brand owner in their heart is like, I would never pay that, right? But at the same time, they are wanting to charge that for their premium products and services. Can you see how those two things are out of alignment? And whether it seems like it or not, there is a worthiness factor going on. Maybe the business or brand owner does not feel they are worthy of investing in themselves on that particular level. Either way, it is outside of alignment. What I mean by that is if on the inside, you don't feel worthy of receiving a certain amount of money for your products or services, the world will mirror back to you, regardless of how many times you raise your prices, right? Regardless of how many times you share or post your content about your products or services, the world will mirror back to you the internal thoughts and things that you're thinking as it relates to money, money, because at certain frequencies, there is certain energies as it relates to money. The world will mirror it back to them until they acquire a taste 
for that level of abundance. I hope this is making sense. Now, I want to make the distinction in worthiness and value because they're often used interchangeably and they should not be. There are two different things in the marketplace in the realm of business. So value in the marketplace and in the realm of business is the value of your service and products. So the market feels the value of what you're doing is worth this. Your worthiness is always that. You are always worthy. But even if you have a product or service that is valued at a certain amount in the marketplace, if you do not feel worthy of receiving that amount, there will still be difficulty in making those transactions a consistent thing that's happening in your business and your life. And so you have to acquire a taste for abundance. I hope this is making sense. So this is why I take a holistic approach when working with my clients and also focusing on mindset outside of the strategies that they're they're doing. Because I understand that their self-concept, their identity, their worthiness, I understand that the world will mirror back to them in the business arena how worthy they feel, regardless of how much they feel the service they are offering is valuable. And this takes me back to you having to acquire a taste for abundance. It's like certain foods that you may not have eaten as a child. As you experience new things and your palate changes, you acquire a taste for things that you may not have liked before. That you may not have been open to tasting or trying before. And what's important about acquiring a taste for abundance is you have to be willing to step outside of who you currently are being, of what you're currently doing and what you're currently allowing. Let's use this in the space of relationships because it's relatable to everybody. Everyone can relate to a relationship. And then you can embody what I'm sharing and it'll roll over into your business for you. So someone in your life that you're dealing with um, let's say you all don't have a, a real commitment. Let's say it's a situation shit. There's that word, right? But you're saying that you want to be in a committed relationship, even marriage. You want something serious. And even if you aren't telling this particular person that you're in a situation ship with that, it is your desire. But your energy I got to hear me on this, which is what we talked about in the beginning. Your energy is, is saying something different because you're still allowing a situation that's vibrating lower. So let's imagine abundance having like um, a meter and different things rate low or high on that abundance meter. So this situation is registering on a lower frequency than what you actually desire, which is commitment and marriage. I hope this is making sense for you. So there has to be one decision. You have to decide that what you're saying you desire and who you're willing to be, what you're willing to accept on this level are a match. I hope this is making sense. Now, that's no different from business. And this is huge because it requires you to put money on a different level. It requires you to approach money from a different space because if you are accepting or allowing on a level that's vibrating lower than the level of abundance that you actually desire, right? Then they are out of alignment. It's you have to begin saying no to the thing that's vibrating lower, that's on a lower frequency of abundance. You have to acquire a new taste for abundance. And this for most people is difficult because they attach the money to survival and they're not existing in a place of being as it relates to abundance. So I'll circle back around. You have to acquire a taste for abundance. 
for the thing that you deserve and you desire that is at the next level, that is on the level that you never had before. Most oftentimes it's on a level that you haven't had. Sometimes it's on a level that you have had before, but only momentarily and you weren't able to keep it. And that's when we get into frequency where you are toggling back and forth to that lower vibration of abundance and the higher vibration of abundance that you actually desire. You have to acquire a taste for abundance. Abundance isn't always something that we exist in, not the level of abundance that we actually desire. I love to support you. I, I offer one-on-one -on -one identity shifting sessions because a lot of this is about who you are being, shifting your identity to the space of what it is that you desire. I love to support you in uh, an identity shifting session. They're absolutely positively life-changing. They're powerful. They're, they help you step into your personal power, your value, your worth. All of that changes inside this three-week container for identity shifting. Of course, I have other ways to support you. I'll have those links either in the description or in my bio, depending on where you're seeing this particular or listening to this particular video. And that's my take on today. You have to acquire a taste for abundance, peace and abundance.